name is Atipadi Lwata Singh, popular in the last of the video, and I welcome you to another episode of Influencer Marketing Series. Thank you to all of you who have watched the video so far. I want to say thank you to those who subscribe, to our new subscribers, and say thank you for subscribing. So this week I'll be talking about how to sell your personal story, how to sell your brand story on social media, and I'm going to use myself as an example. So please stay with me as I take you on this journey. Telling your brand story is not easy at all and I can tell you for a fact that it takes a lot of time and years to create your brand story or to build your personality on social media. I'll use myself as an example of the 2008 when I started um, social media promotions. Um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do or what name to give myself and I thought of the name Olori Supergirl. Olori in Yoruba means queen and Supergirl came from the name Superman. I'm looking at the fact that Olori represents royalty and Superman or super girl represents your uniqueness, how creative you are and how you stand out from the crowd. And then I decided to merge the two together, only super girl. So the key things that comes to mind are why, what, when, where, how. As a newbie on social media, we're always trying to find ease or our feet or not trying to know what type of influencing or brand we can represent. You need to then um, ask yourself what type of brand can I represent on social media? Not all brands, uh, or not, all, not all influencers work with every brand. Please, you need to note that because um, some brands are very selective and some influencers are very selective. You just need to understand yourself and understand the type of brand you want to represent on social media. For someone who is just starting, you can ask yourself, if I need to represent a brand on social media, is it going to tell on my, through my personal story or is it going to tell through the brand story? Because as an influencer, you need to be able to merge your personal life or your personal story with the brand story and put the two together. This will help you sell your market up. And this is, this is actually one of the winning, winning tips on social media. You know, you need to be able to bring yourself you know, closer to what the brand's um, vision is and then put the two together and sell your market on social media. Everybody wants people to connect with you, not just seeing that oh, you have a brand to sell or you have a need to talk about on your page. They want people to see you in that brand, which is very, very key. For me, I'm going to use myself as an example. I influence for Samsung and for other brands and I put my personal story into the brand's vision. I saw myself with the brand's vision, I merged it together and I give it all to everyone who is on social media. That's the best way I engage with my people, that is the best way I engage with my followers on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you know, name it, that is the best way I you know, connect with them. So you need to be able to do that for yourself as an influencer. If you are just starting out, please take this, it is very, 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 very important. You don't just pick brands and then see if you just want to test or you just want to work with this brand and then move to the next one. You need to, you need to be able, you need to be able to, you know, um, decide on which brand you really want to represent on social media. Explaining the different types of influencer uh, categories that are on social media, like I did mention, you have the network, you have the celebrity, you have the lifestyle influencer, you have the travel influencer, you have the beauty influencer, the different types of influencers, and what type of influencer are you, and then you're stuck in between not knowing what type of brand you represent. So this is very key and this is very, very important. See, brands love people who actually connect with the next person. They love people that can actually, you know, um, sell their brand to the next person. So they look for people who, who do that exact job and they take a lot of their time to set through each profile. Profiling is very good on social media. I'm going to talk about profiling in the next video. But profiling is very good. So they go through your profile, they see your profile, they read your bio, they, read, they look, go through your timeline, they see what you've done before, they see how you engage the followers, and then they can actually you know, take down your name and see if they would like you to um, use you, they, if they would likely use you for, the, for their next um, campaign. So you need to make sure that your profile is very good and appealing to brands out there. So for the celebrity type of influencer, we have the likes of Don Chasi, we have the likes of Whiskey David Do, we have the likes of Tio Savage, um, Day, we have the likes of um, so many celebrities who are actually influencing for different brands on social media and they do this effortlessly without people even noticing that they are actually promoting the brand. Except for those who know basically, they will then see maybe the name of the brand in their tweet or maybe in one of the posts 
and then they tend to know that okay, this uh, celebrity is actually promoting a brand. So that's the celebrity type of influencing. How can you stand out on social media? How can you sell your personal question? Please send me a message or send me an email and I'll you know, respond back to you. I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to all of you who have watched the video so far. I want to say thank you to those who subscribe, to our new subscribers. I say thank you for subscribing. I want to say uh, thank you to everyone who just joined us on this channel. I appreciate you.